All rise for the Emperor. Let's go to the park! Because after a couple year wait, Emperor has finally made its majestic entrance into SeaWorld San Diego. But the coaster isn't actually open yet. So why am I here? The coaster doesn't actually open until March 12th, and the past member early ride times start on the 2nd. Today's only the first. But for past members who visited SeaWorld San Diego three times within the specified period of time, there's a special VIP Passport for Thrills party today. And that's what I'm here today for. And who doesn't love an early ride time on a new roller coaster? Nobody I know. But that doesn't start until this afternoon, so let's check out the rest of the park in the meantime. I see SeaWorld is getting ready for the Seven Seas Food Festival that's coming up this month. Looking forward to that. I think we'll attend this year. Because SeaWorld and food is a winning combination. You know, today is a Tuesday, and one great thing about visiting SeaWorld San Diego during the week, sometimes it feels like you have the entire park to yourself. I mean, there are other people here right now, but if it were a Saturday or a Sunday, there'd be a lot of people here right now. I mean, like, this part of the park is normally pretty crowded at this time, and there'd definitely be a lot more people in this area of the park. Partly because there's food over here. Yeah, it's pretty peaceful. There's also an amphitheater or two with some very popular shows that really draw the crowds. But none of those are happening right now, so I'm just enjoying the empty park until the coaster rides begin. Hey, I think Tidal Twister might be reopening soon because work on the ride is continuing and the lift that was in here is gone now. Progress. So yeah, I feel this ride may be reopening sometime in the near future. If that's the case, SeaWorld will have four functioning coasters again. And uh, you can save the debates on whether or not Tidal Twister is an actual roller coaster or not. It's in the club. It's in the club. Oh look, the underwater cantina is open for business. And it looks like they even got the underwater section installed, although it appears that the fish are still loading. So if you like hanging out with some fish in some aquariums while you're having your libations, that's the spot here in the park. Okay, since we won't be riding Emperor for a couple of hours, how about we get a head start on the coaster rides with a little Manta action? Okay, um, scratch that, I guess. Because Manta apparently is closed for annual maintenance. I suppose it's bowing out of the way to make room for Emperor today. You know, I was looking at the concept art for this Manta pizza place that's going in and the people eating here are ghosts. I mean, you can see right through them. Weird, creepy. I don't know, maybe they're planning on having the grand opening during the Hallow Scream. They did the mash. They did the man to mash. They did the mash. It was a pizza smash. Okay, I'm done. So I was feeling a little bit hungry. So I decided to stop for a few moments and have a very salty pretzel. And when I say salty, you should have heard the things that pretzel was saying on the way over to this table. Yeah. 
right? That was a pretty tasty pretzel. It did have a lot of salt on it though, but I uh, ended up removing a bunch of it. Because when it comes to salt, I just need a little bit. All right, it's about that time. I have my passport to Thrills. Let's go meet the Emperor. And there is already a line. People are anxious. Understandably so. All right, the line is moving and we're heading in. All right, we're in. Here we go. See, they got some picnic tables over here and some benches and a really big roller coaster. You know what? I have a feeling a five minute wait isn't gonna be around long for this ride. I definitely have a new coaster to add to my list of favorites. And I think I have a new favorite dive coaster. There's only two in California. And as much as I love hang time at Knott's Berry Farm, I think Emperor has taken the throne. And SeaWorld totally didn't sway my opinion with a free churro. Nope, none of that influenced me at all. And my opinion totally wasn't influenced by a free emperor button that says I was among the first to ride. And the free on-ride photo totally didn't influence me at all. None whatsoever. Nope, I am uninfluenceable. Though there have been times in my life when I've been influenza-able. <coughs> 
but thankfully, one of those times is not right now. Nope, I'm as healthy as a horse today. You know, feeling my oats. <laughs> And with that, it's about time for me to head on out. Thank you so much for joining me for a quiet little day in the park and an early ride on Emperor. Hope you get to ride it soon. Till next time, see you later. Hey, check it out. Did you know SeaWorld is opening a new park in San Diego this month? Well, technically, it's Chula Vista. But yes, SeaWorld is opening Sesame Place, an all new theme park on March 26th. And by all new, I mean that Sesame Place used to be SeaWorld's Aquatica water park, which used to be Knott's Berry Farm's Soak City. So at Sesame Place, there will be rides and water slides. Oh, and also, Sesame Place is a certified autism center, so when the park opens, it'll have special accommodations for special needs families, such as quiet dining areas, low sensory areas, and quiet rooms. So if you're on the spectrum, the park's got you covered. Quiet.